And then when Jenny and I, for a while, we lived in a cottage outside Cambridge, and there's a photo of, of Pip. When, one, one time when I was living there, Pip, Dave Sinclair and John Murphy, Murphy came down to sort of to play with me there and I could we could play it was a house in the in a village we I mean, we just played in the front room plus then of course I met Fred and Chris and Jeff well I, I met I think Fred and Chris first through their you know being in Cambridge and they the the chronology is a bit hazy but you know Cambridge is not a very big place and we I met them and then and I yeah, and then we had a short-lived trio called Sparks, and I remember we we did a we did something at one of the Ottawa Presents nights at Ken South Ken Town Hall. I remember Dave Stewart was there, but you know he I, f I forget who was playing. I, I think it was a Henry Cow did he played and perhaps Steve Hillich's band. I think that's right. Was yeah. it what would that have been Khan maybe or yeah uh, that was supposed really? to be Khan's last gig, but it's it's. There's a series of gigs, so we have, have to work to out which one he remembers played at. Mm. Uh, of course, another another highlight, so to speak, of that period was you playing in Stars with the Sid Barrett, which seems to have been doomed from the start, or what was it not? Well, it, it was rather. I mean, arguably, that was the only upside of leaving Delivery. Uh, you know, was that I got to play with Sid Barrett. But um, well, yes, you, as you rightly say, you know, from what we now know. Yeah, it was doomed to failure because, and I've I've said this many times before, you know, I think we just, um, again, you know, when you've got that instrumentation, just three of you, guitar, bass and drums, you've all got to be really on it, otherwise, you know, it's very demanding. And even back then, Sid was, you know, already there were huge expectations. I mean... Stars was entirely based around Cambridge. Sid was living in Cambridge. I was living well just outside Cambridge. Twink was living in Cambridge, and and it was and we all met through through Jenny Spires, because she, um, you know, had had what had, had been and was still very close to Sid. And um, but you know, <laughs> we just we should have been rehearsing hard you know you can't expect to go out and do the thing was we the first gig we did was in a liberal um, whole food restaurant cafe and you know on an afternoon and we just sort of sat and played nobody knew who any of us were and we played it was great everybody loved it you know but there was no pressure as soon as we started you know getting you know gigs around you know where you were billed and expected to turn up and play I mean that was a disaster because Sid was not in any kind of state to do that. You know, he he was very withdrawn. He found it hard to relate to people just on a social level. Never mind getting up on stage in front of a lot of people and performing. But without the pressure of, of playing on a big stage, uh, were there moments where it sounded like a completely together band? Well, again, there was a, con a blues connection because, and I Twink remembers it differently to me, but. I do remember that that he and Twink and I, when we we, we, we yeah, because we started at another club in 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 Cambridge called Fisher House when I was still with Jenny, and Twink and I were sort of the house rhythm section, the house bass and drums, and and the, and yeah, we got a gig at Cambridge Blues Club back in I think it was Eddie Floyd, the blues singer, and Sid came down and even sat in maybe on one number. Because he was, he loved blues himself. Well, that's you know, as you you probably know, he that, um, and so that was a connection. But so then, yeah, we were running Fisher House, where incidentally later on Hatfields came to play, and Henry Cow, and both or you will remember better than I. Sometimes Ka with, Ka with Robert, it. I think yeah. Khan probably did come as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, the, the last lineup with Dave Stewart. I think so. Mm -hmm.